Shaitan Irajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today our quote is from Surah to Al Nur, that's Quran chapter 24, verse 31. It reads, And say to the believing women that they cast their glance and guard their chest. They should not display their ornament except what is visible. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another edition of the Cover Up. I am Rahmat Wasim. Cover Up is designed to demystify the personality of the Muslim woman, giving her a voice and celebrating her. Today we take an interesting look through the niqab. Muslim women have a unique way of dressing that's covering up. But there's also another interesting way of dressing where you put on the niqab. Niqab simply means having a veil to cover the face. Some just leave just two holes for the two eyes. Others will go to the extent of even wearing a spectacle. The decision is actually based on the understanding of a particular interpretation of hijab or modesty. According to some scholars or some school of thoughts, niqab is mandatory for every Muslim woman. Others also differ. History also revealed that niqab is not only an Islamic thing, it predates to the Islamic era. Nevertheless, niqab can also be seen worn by... It's an honor to have you. Thank My you. first up and close niqab is... <laughs> wow, mashallah. Uh, it's refreshing to... we don't smile, right? Yes, you don't smile. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. What does being in a niqab? Okay. What does it mean to you? What What, what is it? Okay. Ahuz billahi min ashaitan rajim bismillah rahman rahim. We thank Almighty Allah for today, and thank you for for having me or inviting me to your program to talk about the niqab and the things that I go through every day as a mm. niqab. Oh, as a nikabi, mm. as you say, as a ninja. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, the niqab, actually, it's, for us to look at the niqab, we, we have to first go to the hijab sure. and ask us, so what is hijab? Mm. Because the niqab is only the face veil. Yeah. It's just the face veil. So yeah. what is hijab? Mm. And is it in the Quran that a woman should put on the hijab? Mm. Yeah. So we have to look at all these things before we can really tackle what mm. the hijab is the niqab mm. or what the niqab, niqab is. is so before we talk about the 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 hijab and as you said in your quote mm. the verse that's quran chapter 20 24 24 verse, verse 31, 31 that the uh, the prophet told the believing woman it was a verse that was revealed to mm. him that he told the believing woman his that he should tell his wife and the believing woman to cover up yeah to cover up and that time when the uh, the, the the ayah came it was said in some of the books that the in the hadith that the woman took their clothes and they cover their faces. Mm -hmm. Now we have two school of thought. Some say, some of them a majority and some of them minority. Mm -hmm. Some say that the niqab is compulsory. Some are also of the view that the niqab is not the compulsory. Mm -hmm. But personally, as a niqab, what does the niqab mean to you? Mm -hmm. For me, that's how I see the hijab. Yeah. Or the niqab no. or the hijab. Mm. What does it mean to you? Because before you start putting on something, you have to know what it means to you personally. Yes, it may. It even if it is said that a woman should cover her face, but what does it mean to you as a woman, as a mm. Muslim woman? I think we should take it from that mm. perspective. Yeah. Yeah. It for me, it's a personal relationship with Allah. Mm. It's 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 a kind of relationship that I have with mm. Allah. Mm. That this is what I want to do yeah. for the sake of Allah. Yeah. I want to cover up for this and for my personal sake it's not because yes it's for the sake of Allah but at what am I day, at you're, you're doing it to please him so that you can also benefit benefit it's not only f yes it's for Allah but at the end of it who will get the benefit yes, it's yeah. me yes so that's the main reason why I, I put on the niqab and secondly because of the things that I do I don't mm. want people to say that when I'm working say hey this is rookie I don't want people to associate me with the things that I do as in your charity work. Yes, so I want them to 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 see that everything that I do, I'm doing it for the sake of Allah, and not for them to know that okay, Rookie is doing this. That's then I don't like it. I don't. You don't want them tracing it back yes. to you. So and I also the want, faceless woman yes. who came to give us something. Just like Anas Amiria. Yes. 
he's doing something and I, I, I take a lot of motivation from him. Mm. If he can cover his face and achieve also mm. and do all sort of things, what should limit any car be? Mm. Or what should stop me from achieving something greater as any cup? Mm. This doesn't limit me in in, 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 in any way. Any way. But in, in, you know, there's this, as you mentioned, there are various school of thought. Yeah. Some say it is compulsory. Some say it's not compulsory because it's just cultural. Because um, according to them, the, the, the instruction that came was very clear. Yeah. That you should, you know, draw your veil to cover your bosom. And um, it's only places that are apparent yeah. that, can, that you can show, which includes the hands, yes. the feet itself and the face. the face so to go to the extent of covering up what other is like is there any historical thing that brought it into mainstream you know, islam yes you know it's two school of thoughts all of them said have their own opinion mm. but they never said in any of the books that it is like it is an innovation mm. okay. that means something that you are bringing it in. into islam they all have their views. Some say it is compulsory. Some say it's not compulsory. Mm -hmm. But at the end of it, none of them say, okay, um, it's an innovation. That means you have a choice mm. to put on the niqab. But mm. the hijab is compulsory, compulsory. for every, every Muslim, Muslim woman mm. to put on the hijab. But the hijab is a choice that you make to like to put on put on the hijab. Eh, the niqab. Niqab. It's not. It's not... It's not a forced on you. It's not yeah. by force for you to put mm -hmm. on the niqab. It's a choice that you make. Because you know, so it's after reading books mm -hmm. and after, and you have to like just after analyzing things and mm -hmm. you make your own decision, decision on what you, you can go on that journey. that journey. On, on because journey. it's a journey. It's a personal journey. It's a personal it's journey. A journey. And it's not like I started like this. No, 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 no. Yes, tell me. You say very, mean, something I, very interesting. You yes, have, I. You, you, you grew up a as a Christian. Yes, I've been a Muslim, practicing Muslim for only eight years. And I, my last church was Winners Chapel International. Yeah, I can sing for fun. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell so, you, you seem to have a, view, a very beautiful yeah, voice. So I, I used to be in the choir at Winners Chapel International, mm. sing, do praises, and all that stuff. But I think whoever like guides, no one can miss guide. And Allah has a way of guiding people to him. Mm. And when that time gets in, like when that time is up, nothing can stop. Mm. But before Allah will guide you, you also have to make a step. So I started by, okay, let me know more about Islam. Let me read about Islam. Yes, mm. my father is a Muslim. My mom is a Christian. But I live with my mom. So but what happened? What brought you in? What brought me in? Because you were say, not practicing. Yes, I would say what really brought me to Islam was death my mom's dead mm, it gives me a different understanding of the world mm. in, because at, at that time the only person i know i'm the only daughter so the only person i know is my mom so when i let I, I i always say that he took her for a reason and he knows best he does things in his own way mm. so when she died i was like i don't have anyone mm. i don't have i have two brothers but i don't have anyone except allah so that's where I start learning about the deen. But my, my older brother is a Muslim. He practices the deen. But he will say, if you want to go to church, go to church. If you want to be a Muslim, be a Muslim. Nah, yes. There's no compulsion so in no faith. Compulsion. So then, at that time, I think that was the right time for me. Mm. Allah has a plan for me. And mm. that death, it, it changed everything about it drew, me. It drew you yes, closer. You started learning, learning about, Islam. about Islam. And Islam. in your journey. Yeah. I remember even when I was in church, I used to ask like, I was very confused about this Trinity thing. So mm -hmm. I asked my church members, what is this Trinity thing? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Because although I was in church at that time, I still don't understand those things. It mm -hmm. was very confusing until I learned about Islam and I realized that it's a different thing altogether. Mm -hmm. And I remember I, I remember there was when I read Surat and Mariam mm -hmm. that talks about mm -hmm. the mother of Jesus. Jesus. And how she she does her things mm -hmm. and everything. And I was like, wow! If the mother of Jesus, even when she was mm -hmm. modest, yeah, then what stop? That means I'm not judging, but you you need to up your game yes. in your spiritual yes. journey. Yeah. So it brought you in. Yes. It but me. when you came in, the normal thing is wearing the veil. Yeah. Like the normal uh, yeah. hijab and yeah. covering up. But you went a step. You've yes. gone a step further. 
remember and you're that, in any car yes what, what brought you here as a friend oh it's not like it's she was i used to say i don't slide any car why then why didn't we'll get there the myths and the truth <laughs> <laughs> so it was actually a friend we we're going for i was invited to a program and they were asked me to bring two friends who are in the car i said okay so when we we're going i have a friend okay and she said okay why don't you put on the the niqab so that even when you get there you can remove the niqab i said okay because i always put on the normal hijab, hijab and That's loose same. clothes yeah. yes so i just put on the niqab and i was i just felt good in it that day and i just love it so you just we love went, being mysterious yes. keep, keep, and, and keeping people going, guessing and people were like ninja <laughs> Akaida. I was like, wow, is it this we you've been going through all the time? I said, yes. So I think she gave me one niqab. That's where I started putting on the niqab. And ever since, I even I think I even enjoyed the niqab even more mm. than her. Yeah. Oh, okay. Niqab comes with a lot of challenges. controversies and challenges. There are some myths. Personally, the first time I met a niqab, I, I, my heart skipped. I went, I, I got a courage. I said salam to because I was, even though I was a bit scared, I was still curious. I wanted to talk to her. No response. I felt very bad. Mm -hmm. I felt like maybe um, she didn't see me as spiritually, sure. you know, strong, closer enough. Mm -hmm. So she didn't. So some, what are some of the truths and the myths? But before I get your answers, let's pause here for a commercial. Let's keep our, our viewers guessing. We'll be right back. <laughs> about yeah, the wearing of the niqab because of my personal experience the first time i you know met a, a niqab like i was just walking and i i saw her pass i i i i was a bit confused because i had not seen because it was there was even there's not nothing just the two eyes popping out i didn't see anything whether she's fair she's dark and you know as we human beings we, we want to get close sure. So as a Muslim, the natural thing for me to do is to say salam and <laughs> maybe get a voice and see that it's not something that is moving. Right? It's yeah. actually a human being in it. And I didn't get my response. And you didn't take back your salam? Well, I had to walk off because <laughs> already I was... Say, Madam, I, I, I'm saying salam or like a response to my... It's your right. You're mm -hmm. a Muslim. Mm -hmm. It's right. You've given her your peace. You've given her your peace. <laughs> you don't have to give, give it back. back the peace. Like how? Hmm, of course, I don't. I didn't see her face. I can't go back and collect it. Because I'll, my sister, I'll take it from you. Ask Lamu Ali. Well, because may Uncle Ben may Oh, So, what are some of the myths? You know, um, Islam is very simple. Mm. And being a Muslim, being a Nikabi doesn't make you inhuman. It, it should make you more human because. Someone may see that maybe you understand that even they didn't better. That's why you are covering exactly covering and, about and, and in my mind. Each time I see someone in 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 niqab, that's the first thing I can see people. This person looks very very scholarly. They 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 know they know their their karatu It's not always true. Mm. It's it's not always the case. I think there are things you see in the Quran. You see it and you obey, without even knowing much about the Quran. Mm. You see and you obey. That doesn't mean that you you are a scholar or you are just trying. You are all we are all striving. Yeah. That's why when I see a sister in the hijab, I as a nikabi shouldn't see myself that oh I'm more spiritual than her. That's I'm, another myth. I'm like, better. Than, I'm better than, than her. No. Mm. See, you can never separate the internal from the external. It is the internal, the iman in you mm. that shows your reaction, how you react or how you act towards things. Mm. So if you if you're a Muslim sister and you you think you have the iman you are more spiritually hard, and I see you and I'm saying salam alaikum and you're not responding and you are looking down. What are you me. showing? What are you showing? This is not Islam. This is this is not Islam. The other thing that most people think about uh, at the site of any kind, if, being in veil is even difficult in the first place. So yeah. to go step further. Is the association of associating the the, the niqab is to you being um, an extremist, or maybe it's because you don't have self confidence. confidence. But speaking as well, like I I I, I you're feel oppressed. you are oppressed. That's 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 it. that's that's the biggest one. You yeah. look at how they've bundled her yeah. in 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 all black. But you is a choice. 
Yeah, with the issue of oppre oppression, and I have this picture here. You can see that. Wow. Uh, yes. Mashallah, yes. viewers. <laughs> And there was a guy who saw it on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I was like, "See how, how, see how Islam is oppressing this woman. <laughs> see how she's she has covered her face, and she's still carrying water and selling mm -hmm. it okay, under the Scotch sun." Yes. I, I what, said, like, what were you doing actually? And actually, that was set, um, set much. I was having a program for the widow, so I was okay. helping them. I saw it on Facebook. Yes, you I had was, a very nice time. You, you do makeup, make and we give them gifts. clothes and Qurans and all that, just to make them happy on that day. And they were widows, some were disabled and all that stuff. How, how the propaganda can really twist the mind. You understand. Mm. And just the person was like, yeah, look at her. She's just, she's oppressed. She's, mm. she's being forced to do this. And I was like, subhanAllah. Why well, you were you doing ask? charity to attain the grace from and Allah. And sometimes the most painful aspect of it is, you see, a Muslim. The non-Muslims, on sometimes you just you try can to pardon them yes. because they think. But you, you see a Muslim who thinks that because he thinks his 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 perception about the the hijab or his his idea or how he thinks the hijab or the niqab should be, he thinks that when you are covering up, that means like you are trying to to show that you are a different human being. Or I think that's even what started our conversation. Yeah, I saw a post yes. on your page on Facebook. Yeah, I remember there was a time at Tema I. Went to clear some books. Then mm. one guy, he was just looking at a lady. She was in a very short dress, mm. and he was looking at her. And he was just admiring her looks, her, her back, and all that stuff. And I was just there, and he was like, "I didn't know why are you looking at her. You, you decide to cover yourself like mm. that." Mm. I was like, "Wow, well, Subhanallah." I didn't want to talk, mm. but as a normal rookie, I would have tell him my mind. It's mm. not I wouldn't insult him, but I would tell him. What is right? Mm. That you, you don't have a right to be looking at another because woman. Because it's harassing. Yes. You're harassing the person. Be, it's harassing. I, I don't want a man to see me and start describing me. Ruki, she has already, a, I know what I have. So I don't want you to see me and be describing. Well, Ruki, she have this, she have this, she have that. No. Mr. Rukia, yeah. the myths and truth we establish that, you know, that you do it out of yes, your own free will. You, you're not you're not oppressed. Nobody's yeah. forcing you yes. to be in it. In fact, nobody even forces you no, no, to no. become a practicing Muslim. Muslim. But there's also this, you know, perception yeah. that uh, niqabis are not unclean. Yes. Because some, some refuse to put on deodorant. Yes. Because, and perfume, because as a, for them as a woman, you, you're not supposed to attract you're not supposed no, nobody should see you and get distracted you shouldn't be a uh, sort of um, a stumbling block to somebody's faith so your your aura everything about you should be covered including you not attracting the person with your fragrance what do you say about that <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, a lot. you see um even if you are not attract if you are not Allah Allah loves beauty. Mm -hmm. He he himself is beautiful. He he loves beauty. And he, we all say that cleanliness is next to God. Mm -hmm. You have to be clean. He likes people who are who clean. Who are clean. Even even if you are in your room and you are praying and you, you you are very clean, everything is clean and you just raise up your love of God. You have a belief that it goes directly. Sure. You understand? Sure. How much more you a woman being being a woman and deciding not to keep yourself clean because you think it will attract people, uh, it will attract a man. We should take the man out of the equation and see? focus on you. Focus on Allah and, and you and you yourself. Your, your, take, your relationship with between you and God. It's a relationship between you and Allah. Even if you decide not to keep yourself clean for you, to, fine. If it's a good. Um, smell or fragrance that you think it will attract someone. What about a bad one? What me she will be none of a boom like a boom and things. They will come. You will feel the scent anyway. Anyway, you will just get the scent. So keep you have to keep yourself. Anyway, clean. people who are even mentally unstable, you see them getting pregnant. Yes, you you still get that. So the thing is, you keep, you have to keep yourself clean as a woman. And even it is said that you as every every Friday we have to cut your nails yes. and all those do the janaba yes. properly. Bath why, why and put is on it? perfume. Look clean. Look neat. Smell good. And come to my house and worship. Yes, so why why are we doing that? Because we have to it you see Islam is is, is a way of life. Mm. It's a practical way of life. So you can't take 
you can't that's why you can't say that i have a man in my heart i have it in my heart but i don't show, show it, it outside you can't you can't separate the two no. you can never separate the internal from the external i you, should see your islam you should see from, my islam from from, from, with, from, from the way yes, you interact from from the way from from the way i interact mm. so so schooling when you when you're going to school do you at any point and take off your niqab sometimes or yeah. during your workplace or all the time that's how you look no 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 i don't i don't see we should make things easy for allah has made things easy for us and we should also try to make things easy on ourselves mm. you understand i know someone may say that ah, what kind of niqab is this but it's my niqab is my personal relationship to allah i don't have to come to you to explain to you how i worship my god mm. it's my personal relationship with allah and he alone knows my heart mm. and he can judge me you but you're looking like this how can you get a man to marry you everything is covered because the, the you know the four key things yeah. that you love use as criteria to sure. to marry a, a woman number one is the person's beauty then he talked about the the wealth yeah. then talk about the affluence of the the family that the woman is coming from and the last is the dean and he stressed that the dean is far better but the beauty was mentioned now everything is covered how, how can i see that okay rukaya is is the is the woman that makes my heart beat and i want to come yeah, for it the, there are two types of beauty that's how i see the beauty they have beauty of the heart mm. and the physical beauty there are people who are blessed with the physical beauty but when they open their mouth you can't stand <laughs> <laughs> they can't when they see something you can't just stand it mm. you can't just stand it mm. and that's that's very ugly that's ugly to me mm. so for me i believe that the heart of every man is in the hands of allah if that man is meant for me he will come and when he comes oh he, they should come and when they should when they come they will come and see my father i'll open my face for that they'll see my face so they shouldn't worry so the day that they make the decision they can they when take off their the view yes i'll take it because if a man is interested in you and he wants to marry he definitely has to see your face of course no it's not it's like see yeah, let me let me let everyone understand this here we don't sleep with any cab i don't sleep <laughs> in fact when i'm in my room i put on hot things you understand i go crazy like very you're long. alone yes i'm alone but when i'm going out i try as much as i can to to cover up mm. so that to not for other people for to protect yes. my own soul you when mentioned that you don't want the conversation to be about you yes but about the things that you're talking about Remember, to the I, issue. I was even telling you there was a time a guy saw me i was like i looking at you from through your, the lens of yes, the i can see that you're a beautiful girl remove <laughs> it i i was like ah, subhanallah you understand so we are not doing it for men mm. if you are putting on the the niqab you are not doing it because you think you are protecting men from no but then you are doing it for the sake of allah mm. and mm. you are doing it to protect your own self do you think the 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 way um niqab or niqab is portrayed through the media especially you know when, because when you look at the western ideology of what beauty is my dear you don't come close <laughs> you know do you think it has an an an, an effect yeah. on how people how perceive, perceive the niqab and and the and niqab is? Mm. You see, um, every religion or every practice has we have the good ones and the bad ones. Mm. Yes, and the bad ones do all sort of things and it affects some of us here. Mm. But what are you as an individual doing mm. to? elevate or to clear the image of islam i see you doing there. a lot i follow you on social media doing the with your there. charity yes Ali Yassin. yes doing what are you doing for islam mm. yes they are we can one thing about um muslims uh, some muslims in ghana here is that they love talking they love they to talk nothing, they no. talk 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 and so talk, why no are you action. doing this yes there is no action if you see someone, I remember there was a time someone said, "I why are they said the woman sh the woman should not cover up and they they don't want the woman." I said, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" I said, to change it, to it. change it. So you you believe you doing the charity work, going out there, it's a way of redefining or no, not even redefining, giving the true meaning. That of the what the doesn't limit me. 
then hijab doesn't doesn't mean that I should be in my room 24 7 it doesn't mean that I shouldn't talk to people mm. it doesn't mean that I can't go out there to be the make kind an of impact impact it doesn't mean that I should just be in my room what and if you say we are worshiping Allah what is worship 25 times a day and sleeping no 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 that's not worship going it, out there it it's about human your human being interaction in, interaction and how you live with humans and how you do your things, you understand. Mm -hmm. And you can't just say that because I'm any cab, I should just sit in my room and I should just lock the room and no man should see me. No. Go out no. there. You have to go out. Make there. an impact. Change. Change people and change. stop talking and, and stop not putting talking. action to it. If you yes. want to see a change, stop talking about it. Yes. And make sure and the change you take an action from, from you. you, your mind, from and your you. heart, yeah. and your deeds. And one thing too, I love about the cab. I love about the niqab. For instance, if a man has three wives or four or two wives, and let's say we all come out and we are in the niqab. Mm. Under the niqab, this is just a cover. I'm just I'm putting on a dress, and mm. you you may never know the kind of dress I'm putting on. Mm. So sometimes some people are also of the view that okay, it takes away jealousy. You understand? There's nothing to compare. To we are compare. all in dark. We are all in the in the niqab. Mm. Some people have the view that it takes away that. But aside everything, the niqab is a personal decision. It's a personal choice, and you do it on your level how you you want to do it. Indeed, the niqab is a personal journey, building you closer to Allah and ensuring that you have very good relationship. It's not. Uh, a yastic to measure how oppressed a, a Muslim woman is. It is not to say that she's an illiterate. It is not to say that she's not happy and she's she's not interested in what she's doing. It doesn't limit you. It expands you. It grows you spiritually, as our sister has made us to understand in the last thirty minutes. Sister Rukia, we are grateful for joining us on cover up and for helping us to demystify oh. the personality of a nikabis this is a very funky nikabis <laughs> she speaks english and she smells good um we've been doing this with our sister rukaya muhammad she works as an accountant and a part-time freight forwarder she's also a woman who truly understands her dean and believes that she wants to give the right image to being a nikabis she's founded a foundation called Al Yasin, and they say to the um, deprived women and children in in our, in some parts of our country. Before we go, let's acknowledge our sponsors once again for helping us come to your homes 9 p.m. every Friday, helping us enjoy our 30 minutes conversation. Chocho Herbal Clinic, Chocho, your ultimate and reliable healthcare center. Insania Herbal Drug Center, producers of Mercy range of products. Mercy Cream, discover the secret to true beauty. Rami's case home and more for all your children's clothing. Kikau furniture, furnishing just as you want it. Habels, fabrics and modest wear for the best in modest clothing. Finally, let's all understand that modesty 